Hello, hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, <laughs> how are you? I'm fine, teacher. Excellent, very good. I could see a lot of people are sick. So how do you feel? How is your health? I'm okay. I'm okay. I know. Excellent. Very good. And happy to hear that. Well, let's see. Let's see. Welcome, everybody. How are you tonight? How do you feel? Uh-huh. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I am going. I am I am coming back to home. Very right. late. Yes. All Thanks right. Today we have a show. Yeah, all right. Well, welcome to the class. Let's thank see. You. I can hello Mirna. How are you? Good and you, thank you. <laughs> I'm great. I know that everybody, a, a lot of people um, are sick. sick yes. I, I'm, I'm kind of worried. So everyone, please be careful with your health. Take care, all right? Because I don't want you to get sick, okay? Yeah. And if, if you, for the ones that are sick, please uh, take the medicine, okay? So you can get better soon. Yeah, it's, it's kind of worried. Please be careful. Thank so, you. <laughs> welcome, everybody. I'm happy to see you here. Thank you so much for being on time. Thank you so much for the ones who has the camera on already. Today is Wednesday. We are basically in the middle of the week. Okay. How was the traffic today? Horrible. For me, horrible. <laughs> in the morning <laughs> yeah really oh my gosh yeah. yes and for yeah. the rest how was the traffic today the same at night at night, at night it was relaxed hmm. but in the morning oh stuck <laughs> oh my gosh i can't imagine all right all right how about the weather everyone here in my city is so hot. Uh, in the afternoon, I was totally desperate. How about you? Yeah, very hot. In, very hot in too? Home. Yeah, very hot too. All right. Anyone else? Or is everybody with the same weather? In the Lopang, the same. It's the same? Oh my gosh. Well, I hope we got some rain, some rains, maybe. I hope so. Well, <laughs> we are going to start today's class, but let me ask you, what was the topic from yesterday? Do you remember? Do you remember? Yes, we continue to study the, cy the cycle of product or... Yes, the product life cycle. Very the good. Product life cycle. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Now, before starting, we are going to discuss a little bit some of the uh, main feedbacks uh, about the written practice. If you remember yesterday, I asked you um, to send some sentences right? So uh, we are going to identify uh, some common feedbacks. I cannot take uh, all the sentences right now. I cannot give you one by one feedback, but this is going to be like in general, like the most common mistakes that I saw in most of you, okay? So let me start sharing the presentation. Let's see. Can everybody see the presentation? Yes, yes, excellent. Yes, okay. So today is March 22nd. We continue in the week number one. So, talking about the vocabulary, right? This is the vocabulary that we studied yesterday. So, yesterday I told you that you have to send uh, some sentences on WhatsApp's group. Not everybody did, but most of you did. 
So the idea with these sentences was to use correctly the words. If you had a verb or if you have a noun, so you can use them correctly. Also is to verify how your grammar writing is it going. Okay, I wanted to check if your grammar is improving or if there are some details that we need to improve. Now, I'm going to show you some of the sentences in general. Okay, so please, if I took one of your sentences, don't take it personal, okay? We are here to learn. So, can you see the sentences that I'm sharing right now? Yes? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, very yes. good. I have the first sentence here. It says, the company withdraw the product because it was expired. In this sentence, what do you think? Is it correct or mm, can you see a mistake? What do you think? In my opinion, a third person, the company uh -huh. withdraws, withdraws. So you think that we need to add the letter S? Yes, if you are using withdraw as a verb. Hmm, interesting, okay. What do you think everyone? Do you agree? Maybe I'm not sure, but maybe because is if you use a uh, a verb, you can ask the S. And but I think I'm not sure <laughs> uh -huh. that because it it's expired, just does just you don't need to say what's expired. Yeah, you need or or you you can say because it's expired or. Mm, I don't know. Well, actually, that's a good point. You can say because it expired, yes, you don't need was, or you can say because it was and expired becomes into an adjective. So both options are correct. You can say because it expired or because it was expired. Good okay. point of view here. If you see, I have one sentence and then I have because and I have another sentence. The other sentence, what is the grammar tense? Is in present, is in past, is in future? What do you think? As perfect past. Actually, is simple past, right? So what happens here, everyone? If the sentence here is in simple past, the best idea is that the verb could be also in simple past. So here you have two options. The first option, as your classmate said, if it is in present, is third person. So you need to add the letter S. Or another option is to write the sentence in simple past because you are talking in past. So in that case, you cannot say withdraw. The simple pass of withdraw is withdrew. So you can say the company withdrew the product because it was expired, okay? So important, please always be careful with the grammar tenses. Be careful with the verbs. If it is third person, if it is in present, add the letter S. If it is in past, you need to write the verb in past. Now, what about the second sentence? Look at this. Coca-Cola have a lot of demand in our country. What do you think? Is that correct or not? It's the same with the third person. It has Very to be Coca-Cola has. Good. Simple, right? So. In this case, everyone, and this happens with many sentences. Because of the time, I cannot write all of them. I'm just taking in general, but this is one of the common mistakes. So third person, 
Be careful, everyone. Okay, because I can see many mistakes with the third person. And you are intermediate. Okay, you are not beginners anymore. So third person is a mistake that mm, shouldn't happen to you anymore. Okay, be careful with that. Um, another sentence, the police have, I think that revenue was the word here. Revenue, whoops, sorry. So what do you think? Is this sentence correct? What do you think? Oops, sorry. The police have... It's the same mistakes as... Ah, so what happens here, everyone? I think, I think that yes, in, in another uh, grammar tense is have with the other verb and past participle. Ah. Participle, past participle. And then yes, um, uh, 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 perfect present. Okay. That is a good point. So again, in this case, everyone just depends of the intention of the writer. If the intention was in the present perfect, sounds good. But if the idea is just in present, in that case, we had to say has. Even though if it is in present perfect, we cannot say have. We always had to say has because we are talking about police and that is third person. Okay, now the last one, my plant growth too much last month. What do you think? Is that correct? Yeah, the, the, better, verb, the, better, I think. the better ground is a, a present continuous. So it has to be with ing? You think? Yes, yes, of course. Like this? So look at this. Mm. This is no. the key word. No, no, last no, month. No. It's, 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 it's perfect. It's uh, past perfect. <laughs> mm. I if I, yes. Okay. Uh -huh. If I say last month, what do you think? I'm talking in present, in past, in, past, in future. In the, in the past. past. So it's in past. In past. I in need the verb. In present perfect. In, in past. Okay, in this case, I think that sounds most like the simple past, right? So what happens with the verb? I need the verb in past. What is the past of grow? Uh -huh. Grew. Grew. That is the one. And the here, question, I need the Sorry. double O. Yes, go ahead. Just the question. If it is correct to say my plants have been growing, growing too much. Yes, you okay. can also use it. Yes, for example, in this case, we can change the grammar tense. So, Again, everyone, everything depends on the grammar tense that you are using. So you can say, my plants have been growing. Okay, my plants have been growing too much last month. Okay, however, what is the characteristic of the present perfect? Remember that the present perfect is for unfinished actions, okay? In this case, ¿creen que las plantitas ya dejaron de crecer? ¿Ya no van a crecer? ¿O van a seguir creciendo? What do you think? They will continue. They will, They will continue. continue growing. Entonces, ¿creen que puedo usar la palabra last month? Porque last month, no. ¿qué me está indicando last month? Que la Algo action... Que ya... Finish. Uh -huh. Exactly. Entonces, simple past, ¿para qué me sirve el simple past? Para finished actions. So, si me van a colocar el last month, significa que la action stopped, finished. 
si me van a usar el present perfect o el present perfect continuous, entonces no me agreguen last month. En lugar de last month, podemos decir this month. Because it's, it's telling me that the plants will continue growing. Van a seguir creciendo este mes o el siguiente mes. Okay? That is the characteristic, uh, characteristics and the difference between the simple past and the present perfect or the present perfect continuous. Is it clear, everyone? Yes, yes, yes. teacher. Okay. Yes. So the main feedback for everyone, everyone, please, if it is their person, you need to make the changes, okay? If it is in simple past, change the verb into simple past. That is the main observation for the written practice. Any questions so far about that practice? No? It's clear. Okay. Oh, teacher, teacher, yes. it's correct. It's correct if I said so far so clear. So far so? Clear. So far so clear. Be honest, I have mm -hmm. never heard that. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, because the common phrase is so far so good. Uh, so, okay, thank you. So, you're welcome. So. Um, before continue with the topic for today, I'm going to check attendance. So everyone, if you listen to your names, say present. Um, let's see, Carlos Abrego. Carlos, do you know Carlos? I mean, no, okay. Christian Alexander. Present teacher. Thank you. Erika Yasmin. Present. Okay. Fatima Denise. Present teacher. Okay. Oh, you are sick. I'm sorry. Uh, Gabriel Bernal Beltrán. Sorry. Gabriel. No. Okay. Hector Francisco. Present teacher. Thank you. Isabel Hernández. Present, Miss. Thank you. Ivan Guzman. Present. Good. Jamie Escobar. Jamie Escobar. Um, Holman Giron. Present. Good. Lucy Juarez. Present. All right. Magdalena Escalante. Present teacher. Very good. Nelson Antonio. Present. Good. Oscar Armando. Present. Very good. Pamela Molina. Pamela Molina. Okay. Eh, Rosalina Alvarado. Present teacher. Good. Selvin Adonai. Selvin Adonai. And Mirna Alvarenga. Present. Very good. Okay, everyone, let's continue then with the topics. Teacher. Yes. I have a problem with my internet. I don't oh, know Jamie. if you. <laughs> okay, sorry. Let me check. Yes, I got Thanks. it. Okay. You're welcome. Okay, everyone, let's continue. Yesterday, we practiced these questions. Do you remember? Did your classmate answer all the questions? Yes or no? Yes, we took a lot. All right, okay. Now, let's interview you. I'm going to ask you the same questions to you. Let's imagine that this is like an interview, okay? I'm going to pick randomly some of you, everyone, and you have to answer correctly the questions, okay? If you don't answer correctly, that means that you get zero in the exam. It's not an exam, okay? It's just a practice, but let's imagine that it's an exam. 
Okay, let's see. Lucy. Hello, Lucy. Oh, I'm sorry. She's going to be a, a, a listener. I forgot. I'm so sorry. My bad, my bad. Okay, let me pick someone. Um, he's not here. Holman. Okay, hello, Holman. Holman, are you I, there? I, I have a problem with the camera. Okay, Holman, I will I, ask you a no, question. Okay. Yes. Listen, what are the four steps in the product life cycle? Can you repeat, please? Yes. What are the four steps in the product life cycle? Um, and the launch, mm. um, the brainstorm. Are you sure? I don't remember. Um, in, in, in order. Mm. And uh, yeah, More okay. random. I will give you the first one. The first step is market introduction. Ah, market introduction. What is the next? Um, marketing. Mm. Okay, Holman, you can ask for help. Pick a classmate that is going to help you, please. Okay, I can. Okay, I, I see Rosalina lift her, uh, her hand. Okay, Rosalina, tell me. Okay, the first step, the first one, my market introduction. The second one, growth. The maturity and the last one decline very good that's correct that's correct okay rosalina can you pick someone please okay um, let me see rubish ivan okay <laughs> hello ivan <laughs> hey rosalinda what's the matter how are you <laughs> Okay, <laughs> no worries. Ivan, what no, no. happens during the decline step? Hmm. The, the, produ uh, the products is uh, oxal oxalate, oxalate, no? Okay. <laughs> Ox oxalate, uh, the price uh, long, the, mar the marketing is no... Um, Oh, okay. I, I, I perdí la idea. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the product lost. is no longer attractive, so... Yeah, they don't... yes, it's mm -hmm. not attractive okay. for the customer, right? Good, yeah, that's the idea. Nice job, very good. Ivan, pick someone, please. Mm -hmm. so, can you see? A victim, a victim. <laughs> Big things, big things, big things. Uh, Mirna. Mirna. Okay, hello, Mirna. Hello. Can you can you tell me what is marketing saturation? Marketing saturation is when the market is full or when you have a lot of demand. The, the, the same products in the market or you have a uh, similar option and, or similar characteristics of the product that do you have a lot of option to, to buy. <laughs> Very good. That's the correct one. Okay, Mirna, pick someone, please. Hi. Girl or boy? <laughs> you choose the ones that you prefer. Okay. Jamie. Jamie. Hello, Jamie. Hello. 
Can you tell me what is the meaning of withdraw? Um, in my old words, is when a product is no sell anymore, <laughs> not too much before. Um, the owner, the company, uh, most to withdraw of the um, or another or another uh, place for so the removing uh, remove the, the product put uh, put on in another vacation ah okay all right you got the idea so remember withdraw is as your classmate said if a product people is not buying uh, are not buying the product anymore what do you need to do you withdraw the product. That means that you remove the product from mm -hmm. the market. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> thank you, Jamie. Pick someone, please. Mm. Ivan? Ivan already participated, huh? <laughs> Everybody wants Ivan's answers, but <laughs> another one, please. <laughs> Someone else, someone else. <laughs> Sorry, uh, Antonio Erodas. All right, hello, Antonio. Hello. Okay, Antonio, tell me three new words about the vocabulary that we learned yesterday. I just I remember the discontinue. Okay. And, uh, and take off. Take off, okay. One more, tell me one more. I remember the month, but I don't, I don't remember the, the meaning. All right, but you remember the word. That's good, that's good. So everybody remember, and good job to everyone that answers. Remember that the idea, everyone, is always try to refresh the information. Sometimes we memorize the information just here during the class, but the next day we forgot. So try to be refreshing the information, okay? Super good job, I liked it. I can see some of you remember, some others, please try to always review the content. Now, this is the topic that we are going to study today. Can you see the presentation? Yes, I see. Yes. Excellent. So the topic is how to use would rather. Have you ever seen this phrase, would rather? Uh huh. Yes. No. No teacher. No. Right. No. Yeah. No. No. Okay. Don't worry because here we are going to learn it. And this is the class objective. I need a volunteer, please, for reading. Okay. Class objective: to learn the use of would rather to express one's preference in a particular matter. Thank you. So that is exactly what we are going to learn. So if we are talking about would rather, we will be talking about preference, okay? So I can ask you, hmm, Barcelona or Real Madrid? Which one? Uh-huh. Real Madrid. For me, Real Madrid, yes. Real Madrid. <laughs> ah, and Barcelona, nobody? No. <laughs> ah, come on, no lo quieren decir, right? Let da pena. Okay, extra points for the ones who said Real Madrid. That's the best. No, All right. No, no. <laughs> okay, another question. Um, let's see. Coca-Cola or Pepsi? Coca-Cola. Coca Coca ah, okay, okay. Let's see, another one. Um, corn pupusas or rice pupusas? Corn pupusas. Rice pupusas. Rice. 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 Ah, all right, all right. 
Um, what else? What else can I ask? Coffee or milk? Coffee. 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 <laughs> All right. For my stomach, coffee. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Cats or dogs? Cat, dog. Dog. Dogs. Dogs. Oh, okay. Some of you say cats, some of you say dogs. So if you see with this example, we are showing our preferences, the things that we prefer. And here in this type of scenarios is when we use would rather. Let's see some another examples. I have here some boxes okay i have different questions here i want you to pick a number and you have to tell me which one do you prefer okay so i need a volunteer who wants to try first someone brave okay christian thank you give me a number please number three Three, all right. I don't know if you can see it. Can you read it? Uh, yes. Okay, go ahead. Would you rather have fever clothes that you love or a white collection of clothes? Have a class. English. That yes. aren't your favorite. That aren't your favorite. Thank no. you. Ask for Every, Everyone, for be careful with the microphones. All right, so if you see here, we have two options. The first option says if you prefer or to have like fewer clothes, but tell you, clothes tell that you, you like it. Tell you. Or. Yes, it's a teacher. Tina checked. Yes. Hey, hello. <laughs> Sorry, I haven't hello. seen you. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> All right. Uh, this is. I guess uh, this so. is number one. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's cute. Is that your son? You Ivan? move it? Ivan, is that your son? Yes, move. <laughs> All right, sorry. Okay, so Christian, we have the two options here. Would you rather means which one do you prefer? So fewer clothes or a white collection, but that you don't like it? Which one do you prefer? Christian? Fewer clothes. Fewer clothes, but that you love? Yes. yes. All right, that's a good option. Uh-huh. Okay, Christian, pick someone, one of your classmates. Okay, I'm going to choose uh, Erica. Erika, hello, Erika. Hello, I was almost there. Thanks, Naomi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, give me a number. Go ahead. I always chose a bad one, so I'm going to say 11. <laughs> 11, this is a good one, no worries. <laughs> Go ahead, read it. Okay, would you rather travel to somewhere relaxing or somewhere interesting? Mm. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, uh, mm, I'm interesting place, I think. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Then, okay. Pick someone, please. Let me see. Jamie is there. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Jamie, give me a number. Seven. Okay. Can you read, please? Would you rather go to the beach or go to the mountain? Aha. Uh -huh. It's a difficult decision. <laughs> <laughs> go to the beach. Okay. Very good. And the rest of you, everybody? Would you rather go to the beach or to the mountain? What do you I think? I prefer the mountain. The mountain? Okay. The beach for sure. <laughs> All right. It doesn't matter if it is hot. 
I really love the weather uh, there. Ah, okay, very good, and, very good. And the, and the side is beautiful. Definitely, that's true. Okay, Jamie, pick someone, please. Holman, mm, Holman, Saul, Hiron. Okay, thank you, Holman. Can you give me a number, please? Uh, uh, number ten. Number ten. Okay. Read it, please. A chef. Okay, would you rather be a chef or a waiter? A chef. A chef, okay. And the rest of you, everyone? A chef or a waiter? Chef. Chef? Chef. 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 Good, all right. So, I need a volunteer. Who wants to be the next one? Only one, please, my goodness. Teacher? Okay, I have Isabel. Give me a number, please. Sorry. Number five. Five. Good. Read it, please. Could you really have more time or more money? Aha. Interesting of question. Course. <laughs> of course. Uh, more time. More time. Yeah. All right. And the rest of you, everyone? More Both time. Of them. I think he's lying. <laughs> <laughs> it depends the context. <laughs> <laughs> no, you had to pick more time or more money. More more time may um, more, time. more money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Good point. Because imagine sometimes we earned money, but we don't have enough time to enjoy mm -hmm. that money. Exactly. But if you have a lot of free time and you don't have money, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> there are not so many things that you can do. Very nice. Okay, who else? I saw someone else lift the hands who wants to participate. Volunteer, please. Okay, Magdaleno, give me a number. The number one. Number one, okay. Read it, please. Okay. Would you rather be a smart or beautiful? <laughs> okay. So talking uh, about a smart, we are talking about like a, a very genius person, right? Or in your case, very handsome. So smart or handsome? What do you prefer? Which one? Uh, actually, I prefer both together <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you can't you have to pick only one <laughs> why <laughs> because we'll be fantastic <laughs> that is a great <laughs> idea <laughs> yes only one why i okay um <laughs> ah, smart <laughs> It's very Smart. difficult. <laughs> yeah. It's a difficult option for my friends. <laughs> yes, of course. Ah, come on. And okay. And the rest of you, which one do you, uh, which one would you rather? Smart or handsome or beautiful for girls? Uh huh. <clears throat> Everyone? Smart. Smart. Smart? Smart. 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 Okay. <laughs> nice. Very good. That was interesting. That was interesting. Okay. We have time for the last one. One more volunteer, please. Only one. Okay. Thank you. Oscar, give me a number, please. The number nine. Number nine, okay. Can you read it, please? Okay. Would you rather live, live in Japan or Sweden? All right, uh-huh. Which one, Japan or Sweden? Japan. 
Japan. Oh, wow. interesting. And the rest of you, everyone, Japan or Sweden? Sweden, Japan. definitely. Sweden. 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 Yes. Yeah, Sweden. Europe. <laughs> the lifestyle is, is, is very, very, very interesting. Remember that in Japan, there are thousands of earthquakes every year. <laughs> so I wouldn't like to, to live in Japan, but so good. Because of the time, we cannot do all of these ones. But if you see in this exercise, what are we doing? We are talking about our preference. We are talking about the things that we prefer to do. And that is the case how we can use would rather, okay? So, would rather, we use it in situations where someone prefers one thing instead of another thing. So, when we have like two options, we need to choose one. So we use would rather, for example, Japan or Sweden. So we need to pick one of them. What is the grammar structure that we need to follow? Easy. I need a subject. After the subject, what do I need? Can you see the presentation? Would rather. Uh -huh. would rather. Then I need would rather. And here is something very important. After would rather, what do I need? Ver. A, ver. a verb and infinitive. Very good. I need the verb in infinitive. For example, I would rather eat pizza. Important. I don't need the preposition to. For example, I would rather uh, to eat pizza. No. Okay. I don't need the preposition to. I just need the verb in the base form. I would rather eat pizza. Imagine if I give you the option pizza or hamburgers. What would you rather? Uh -huh. Pizza or hamburger? Hamburger. I would prefer pizza. hamburger. Pizza. Okay, give me the full sentence. I, I would, would rather... rather eat pizza. All right. So some of you say, I would rather eat pizza or I would rather eat hamburger. Perfect. Another example. If we are talking in third person, there are no changes, okay? We can say, she would rather stay at home than go to the movies. Important, in these examples, we are using contraction. And the pronunciation will be she'd. She'd rather stay at home then go to the movies. We can use contractions with all the pronouns. For example, I can say, I'd rather, you'd rather, he'd um, rather, she'd rather, we'd rather, or they'd rather. If you're going to use contraction, please, you need to make an emphasis and the letter D. D, D. Because if the D doesn't sound, they won't understand that you are using that word. So she'd rather stay at home than go to the movies. One more example, look at this. Oops. Sorry, sorry. I'd rather not go out tonight. What happens here? If I want to say it in negative, what is the only things that I need? The word not. I'd rather 
not go out tonight. As simple as that. Is it clear, everyone, the structure for would rather? Yes? Clear or not clear? It's clear to you. It's okay. Clear. I see, Hector, do you have a question? Yes, teacher. I'm, um, I voy a intentar hacer, I will, will try it. It will, will is imperfect, uh, future imperfect, I think. Uh, it is, uh, I will rather eat pizza. I can have a choice because if I have the, uh, I have the decision, I will eat pizza or will eat a sandwich. Mm -hmm. It's imperfect, I, I think. It is, it's correct. Bas yeah, we can call it like that. Basically, this is just when we are talking about preferences. So basically, here we are saying, mm, preferiría comer pizza. Basically, that will be the translation. Mm, preferiría, right? Mm, preferiría quedarme en casa. Preferiría no salir. All right, so that will be like the translation for this phrase. It's just about preferences. And as your classmate said, here is when we are talking about two options and we need to pick one, okay? Uh, I don't know, someone else lift uh, her hand. I don't know who, do you have a question? Anyone? Okay, I can see Ivan and Jamie. Okay, Ivan first and then Jamie. Oh, okay, uh, excuse me teacher, I, I, I speak in Spanish. Um, Wow. Enten, entendería, entendería, entendería que, que esto del would rather es, dice que es, yo, como usted explicaba, que era una preferencia. Es, yeah. Pero es, es una, it's a decision, the, the persons. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Oh. So, have you ever heard the phrase prefer? ¿Han escuchado esa? Yeah. Ah, I prefer <laughs> eh, playing soccer, for example. So mm -hmm. the meaning is almost the same. The difference is the structure, okay? Mm -hmm. okay. So, but yeah, it's just about preferences. You have to make a decision. Which one do you want? Mm -hmm. Now, okay. Uh, okay, Jamie, do you have a question? Uh, yes, I have two questions. Mm -hmm. uh, what could be the translate do the goal rather? It will be just preferiría. Yo preferiría comer pizza. Yo preferiría quedarme en casa. Yo preferiría no salir. That is the meaning. Preferiría. Right? Or uh, you can say like yo elegiría. Okay? Mm -hmm. That is like mm -hmm. the translation. Mm -hmm. Okay, if it, teacher, it, can you repeat the contraction of would? For example, in the second se sentences, she. Yes, she. Basically, everyone, you just need to add the D sound. The. For example, if it is I, I'd, you'd, he'd. Okay. Mm -hmm. You just need to add the letter D. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Remember that in this case, everyone, contraction is only when we are speaking, not when we are writing. Okay, uh, Ivana, question, and Hector. Ivan, do you have another question? No, no. No? Okay, so Hector, in that case. Sorry, sorry, teacher. Uh, uh, can you repeat again the contraction I... Yeah, I'd. I'd. Yes. I'd rather. I'd rather. I'd rather. So look at this. Ah. Let's try everybody to repeat the pronunciation. Okay. I'd. I'd rather. rather. I'd rather. Everybody. I'd rather. rather. I'd, I'd rather. rather. Excellent. So what will be the next one? You'd rather. You'd. 
You'd rather. So basically the pronunciation, you just need to add the letter D. That's it. You'd rather. I know that at the beginning is a little bit difficult, but with the practice, you will get in better. Okay. Now, is it clear the structure for would rather? Everyone? I teacher. Uh-huh. Questions? Okay, if you don't have questions, let me ask you. I'm going to give you a sentence. Tell me if the sentence is correct. Um, I rather to drink coffee than milk. Is this sentence correct, everyone? Yes or no? No. Why not? No, it means yes, yes, would. No, ah, it isn't. I need wood. Okay. Wood. So I'd rather to drink coffee than milk. And it is unnecessary to write to. Ah, I don't need the preposition to. Never. Okay. I'd rather drink coffee than milk. Nice job. Magdalena, tell me. I have a question, teacher. Mm -hmm. I, I want to say study math and I don't I don't want I don't and I can't. How I'm I sorry. Uh, sorry to, to interrupt you. You sound a little bit back, uh, breaking up. Can you repeat what you're saying? Okay. Um, I want I want to say I want to say, está de más. How I can say that? Está de más. Yes. For example, mm. está de más to in the sentences. Mm. I'm not sure. Let's see. I don't know if I'm wrong. It could be unnecessary or not necessary to write. I mean, yeah, uh -huh. you can use you can use that synonyms, but. Literalmente está de más. I'm not sure how to say it. I need to look for it. <laughs> so much but, to write. Okay. but you can use the, uh, the synonym as your classmate said. You can say, ah, oh, it's not necessary. All right. So you don't need to use it. You don't need to add it. Mm -hmm. Those are the synonyms okay. that you can use. Maybe now, similar in Spanish, uh, salir para afuera, I think. <laughs> kind of. Kind metete, of. Metete para adentro. Metete para adentro. <laughs> yeah. Subito Remember, para adentro. <laughs> Remember, everyone, not all the phrases that we have in Spanish, we can translate it literalmente into English. For example, and this is a very common uh, example, in Spanish, we say antier. Yes or no? Yes. In English, we yeah. don't have a, a word or a specific translation for this word. We can't translate it. So in English, I had to say, antier is the day before yesterday. So imagine the day before yesterday. So we don't have a translation for antier. We don't. So is another example, um, madrugada. <laughs> I mean, in English, we don't have a specific translation for that word. What can we use? Very early in the morning, for example. Okay, so in some scenarios, not always we will be able to translate literally every single phrase that we use in Spanish. Okay, so that's why we can use synonyms. Okay, any other question about the structure for would rather, everyone? Yes, I have one. Yes, go ahead. Uh, this form, this form is when you use when you you use this form because I think it's formal is formal form because usually you you can hear uh, I prefer I prefer all the time you say, I prefer, but in this form, is formal form or when do you use? Well, actually everyone, it is not about that it is more formal than prefer. 
really. They are basically both like the same. What happens is that here in our country, we are more used to use prefer. Ah, I would prefer. The difference, and here is where you have to be careful because if you say, I would prefer, in this case, you do need the preposition too. I would prefer to eat pizza. So that is the difference. So would we'll rather and would we'll prefer, the meaning is the same. Both are like, not just so formal or informal, it's just the same. The difference is if you use prefer, you need the preposition too. If you use would we'll rather, you don't need the preposition too. That's the only difference. Okay, thank you. Got it? Yes? Yes, thank you. Excellent. Uh -huh. Sorry, it's kind of the same because I used to use would we'll like, would you like to eat, would you like to go? Yes, but remember that the difference with I would like is that it's not always for making a decision. I can use I would like in general. For example, in this case, I say, you know what, guys, I would like to go to the beach, right? No tengo opciones. I'm just saying something that I would like. And I would rather is specifically when you have options and you have to pick one. Yes, that is the difference. Okay. Okay, and when someone told, uh, asked me, you should rather this book, for example, could be the same or? Can you repeat the question? Know. The sentence? No, you you should uh, you should have you should select this book or you you should choose this book. I don't know if it is correct or is kind of the same. Mm, what happened is if you use should, I don't want you to get confused. Okay, should is for advice, right? Mm -hmm. Tú deberías escoger este libro. So that is an advice. So you cannot combine should and would in the same sentence. No se podrían combinar en una misma oración el should con el wood. Ahí es como que no se podrían combinar. ¿Ok? O usamos But, should o okay. usamos would rather. Pero son para diferentes escenarios. Remember, would rather sería para elegir options and should es para advice. So if I say you should rather, it is not correct. No, really. It is not necessary. Okay. We just use should. We don't combine them. Mm -hmm. Ok, thanks. You're welcome. Okay, everyone. Now, let's do some practice, okay? In your manual, in the page 12, if you have the manual with you, let's go to the page 12. There we have a conversation and they are using this structure, okay? So let me try to do it bigger, okay? And I need volunteers for reading. So who wants to read? Thank you, Magdaleno. Who else? I need another one. One more volunteer. I can, teacher. Antonio? Antonio, yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, Magdaleno, you are Rina. Antonio, you are Julio. Go. Okay. Um, the sales in the last, in the last mm -hmm. two months were growing really fast, but Uh, now they are decreasing. You're right. Also, it is no surprise with this compet competition. I agree. We must figure a solution to deal with market situation. Many companies will prefer to withdraw the product you know. However, We have invested a lot of a lot of in this product with rather rather relaunch. Relaunch. Ah, relaunch. 
Mm -hmm. uh, we'd rather relaunch the product than discontinue that discontinue it. That discontinue it. That they were very good. If you see in this conversation, we can see clearly one of the difference when we use would rather and when we use would prefer. Okay, so if you want to use would prefer, I need look the preposition to. Many companies would prefer to withdraw. And then I just need the verb always in the base form. But if you use would rather, look, I don't need the preposition to. I only need the verb in the base form. Is it clear the difference between would prefer and would rather? Everyone? The meaning is the same. The only difference is the preposition to. That's the only difference. Clear? Yes? Please clear. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Okay. It is Let's... clear, teacher. But clear I light or have... <laughs> I have a vocabulary doubt. Yes, that is what we are going to check right now. Imagine, can you mention one of the words that you don't understand very well? Okay, uh, the first one is for pronunciation, is correct. Must figure. I'm sorry, can you repeat? In, in the second of Rina, is correct when, when I pronounce we must figure. Figure, yes. Figure. We must figure a solution. Yes. Do you know what okay. is the meaning for figure, everyone? No. No. This is like to search or to look for. We need to find a solution. We, we need to figure a solution. Like invent, like look for. That is the meaning for figure. Another word that is not clear. For I, I, I remember with uh, deal. Um, deal is like uh, a thing. I don't. I can explain that. Could you explain to me what is the deal? Deal to, to deal. Sure. Imagine everyone that you have a coworker. Right? And you don't like your coworker. So, what do you need to do? Ah, you need to deal with the situation. That means that you need to try to relay to that person. To, um, I don't want to say the translation, but you have to lidiar with that person. Okay, that is the meaning for deal. In this case, it says we must figure a solution to deal with the market saturation. What will be the translation for this sentence? Nosotros? Um, nosotros debemos imaginarnos una, o buscar, sí, imaginarnos una solución para lidiar con la saturación del mercado. Exactly. That's the meaning for that word. Okay? It's very clear. Thank you. You're welcome. Another one. Another word, please, that we don't know very good. Relaunch. 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 Okay. Here we have two words. Re the word re represents repetition, to repeat the action. So the ones that we need to learn is lunch. What is the meaning of lunch? When you have a, like a new product, what do you need to do? You need to launch the product. That means like, necesitamos lanzar el producto right, al mercado, iniciarlo, lanzarlo. That is the meaning of launch. So if I say relaunch, what is the meaning of that? That I need to do it again. Launch again. Exactly, that is the meaning of that. Launch again. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
clear the meaning for this vocabulary? Yes. Teacher. Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Questions? No? Okay, every new word, write it down, write it down because it's new vocabulary. Okay, if the vocabulary is clear, let's move on. In your uh, manual, you will see some examples in the page 13 about how we can use would rather, okay? Just remember, you need the base form, you can use contractions. So if you want to continue studying this topic, just read the examples. Because of the time, I don't want to read one by one the sentences, but in this box, basically you can see what we already studied, okay? Now, let's do a practice. I have here five sentences. And I need you to order the words to create the sentences. So the first sentence says, the creative team, then it says, would rather ask, and then to design the manager, a relaunch of the product. So we need to put these words in order. Hmm, what do you think? What will be the correct order for this sentence? Maybe it could be, it's correct to say that, maybe, maybe it could be. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, the manager would rather ask the creative team to design a relaunch of the product. Mm, okay, that's a nice idea. What do you think, everyone? Do you agree? Yes. Yes, yes. Yes. Good me, job. Yes. <laughs> Very good. So the manager would rather ask the creative team to design a relaunch of the product. Nice job. So now I will give you, let's see, I will give you four minutes. Everybody put the sentences in order and then we are going to check the answers. Go ahead. You can write the answers in your notebooks and then we are going to verify if the answers are correct or not. If you have a question, please let me know.
if you have a question or if you need help, tell me, please. Okay, ready everyone? Do you have the answers? No yet. No yet. yet. <laughs> okay, I will give you two more minutes. Go ahead. Teacher, and the second, I I don't uh, I don't find sense. I don't find the sense. Is correct? Okay. So remember, everyone, try to identify the subject. Then we we'll rather the verb and the complement. Try to use your ideas. If the sentence is not correct, no worries. We are going to verify it here. What I need you is to try, okay? I know that maybe the second sentence or well, all these sentences might be a little bit confusing. No worries, we are going to analyze them, okay? So, did you finish the sentence number two? What do you think is the correct order in the sentence number two? Okay, I see Christian. Go ahead. And oh, I saw Rosalina too. Okay, uh, Christian first. Okay, the, the number, what number? Christian? Number two. Number two, uh, many distribu how, how you have to say that word? Distribu distributors. Okay. Distributors. Many distributors would rather much sell our product at a lower price. All right. Rosalia, do you have a different answer or is the same? Me, Rosalina. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Rosalina. I agree sorry. with uh -huh. I agree with him. Yeah. Okay. And everybody, do you agree? I agree. All right. Many distributors would much rather. 
Okay, in that case, everyone, when we have the word much, I heard here because we have those options. We can say much, oops, sorry, sorry. Much would rather or would rather much. The most common is would rather much. In some grammar books, you can find this one. Would much rather. So don't be afraid. Both can be possible. The first one is more common. Okay. So sell our product at a lower price. Very good job. The idea here, everyone, and this is what you need to do in this type of exercises, always identify the subject, the verb, and complement. Now, I need a volunteer for the sentence number three. What do you think? What's the correct order? Uh-huh. Anyone? I'm really well with this, so I'm going to try. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, uh, in my case, is the good brother who draw the product, then introduce it in new markets. Okay, do you agree, everyone? Yes? For me, yes. And the rest? Yes. Yeah, no. I think, yes. Actually, that's the one. They would rather withdraw the product than introduce it in the new markets. Nice job. Very good. Number four. Hmm, what would be the correct order in the number four? Volunteer. Me, but I'm not sure. <laughs> try, try. Okay, I'm going to try. Many companies will rather operate as a premium option once the product is in the decline stage. Mm, interesting. I saw Jamie I'm lift her, uh, her hand. Jamie, do you agree with her? <laughs> no. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Many companies will rather operate as a premium options once the product is in the decline stage. Oh my goodness, you are more than ready for that exam. Very good job. Okay, the last one is a little bit longer. So volunteer for the last one. Magdaleno, thank you, go ahead. Okay. Companies will rather become the low cost provider of a product with great caution about price of work. Hmm. Do you agree, everyone? Yes. Yes, Anyone? I agree. Many more companies would rather become the locals provided of a product with a great caution about the world prices. Perfect. So if you see, once you identify the subject and the verb, you just need to put the complement. Excellent job. Important again, remember that would rather doesn't need the preposition to. If you couldn't complete this exercise, remember this exercise is in your manual in the page 13. So you can practice there. Now, because of the time we are going to run, it's time to practice listening. We already practiced grammar, so now it's time to practice listening. Everybody tell me, do you feel that listening is easy, difficult, 50-50? What do you think? Difficult. Difficult, okay. Difficult. Difficult too? too. <laughs> Difficult? All Difficult. right. Okay, depends, so. Depends on the topic. Depends on the topic, depends on the audio too. So if yeah, you feel depends. that, if, if you feel that listening is difficult, well, that is the skill that we need to practice more. So I will try to include more listening practice in the classes, okay? This exercise will be simple. Pay attention, everyone. I need a volunteer for reading the instruction, please. Thank you, Magdaleno, go ahead. I 
I cannot hear you. Sorry, my microphone was off. Okay, go ahead. People are, people are talking about their preference. What do they prefer? Listen and circle the correct answer. Thank you. So in this audio, the people will have two options and they will pick one. So you have to listen to the audio and tell me what is the option that they would rather. Okay, you can answer in your notebooks and then we are going to see if the answers are correct or not. For this exercise, I will need you everyone, please mute your microphones. Don't turn on the microphones, please. Everybody turn it off. Turn the microphones off. I'm going to repeat the audio. So if you didn't listen very well at the first one, no worries you will have another chance. Microphones off, pay attention everyone. If you don't listen to the audio, let me know. People are talking about their preferences. What do they prefer? Listen and circle the correct answer. One. Do you travel a lot? Oh, sure. Well, which do you prefer, traveling by train or by plane? Well, the thing I like about a train is it's so comfortable. You can get up and walk around. A plane is faster, sure, but getting to the airport can take hours, and it's such a hassle. 2. Do you prefer living in a house or an apartment? Well, I used to live in a house. I had a nice yard and we had lots of space. But it was too much work, taking care of the yard and all that. An apartment is so much more convenient. 3. Would you rather study American English or British English? Well, first of all, they're both very similar. But overall, I think American English is more useful. British English does sound very nice, though. 4. Would you rather work in an office or a department store? Well, I think working in a store is more interesting. You get to see more people. Office work gets very boring after a while. I should know. I've done it for years. 5. Which would you rather learn, German or Spanish? Well, German is an interesting language, and it is useful in Germany. But Spanish is used in Spain, Central America, South America, and even the U.S. Studying Spanish makes a lot more sense for me. 6. What kind of music do you like? Well, I like all kinds of music, but I don't care for rock very much. It makes me feel old. I guess country western is my favorite. I like the words of the songs. They may be corny, but I like them. All right. Do you have the answers, everyone? Yes. Excellent. Yes. And the rest? I yes. have that yes, with, yes. Number, with the number three. I have that because the other. Uh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The others are okay. Listen, I'm going to play the audio one more time. So check your answers. Pay attention, please. Microphones off again. Everyone, microphones off. Pay attention one more time. People are talking about their preferences. What do they prefer? Listen and circle the correct answer. One. Do you travel a lot? Oh, sure. Well, which do you prefer, traveling by train or by plane? Well, the thing I like about a train is it's so comfortable. You can get up and walk around. A plane is faster, sure, but getting to the airport can take hours, and it's such a hassle. Two. Do you prefer living in a house or an apartment? Well, I used to live in a house. I had a nice yard and we had lots of space, but it was too much work, taking care of the yard and all that. An apartment is so much more convenient. Three. Would you rather study American English or British English? Well, first of all, they're both very similar. But overall, I think American English is more useful. British English does sound very nice, though. Four. Would you rather work in an office or a department store? 
Well, I think working in a store is more interesting. You get to see more people. Office work gets very boring after a while. I should know. I've done it for years. Five. Which would you rather learn, German or Spanish? Well, German is an interesting language, and it is useful in Germany. But Spanish is used in Spain, Central America, South America, and even the U.S. Studying Spanish makes a lot more sense for me. Six. What kind of music do you like? Well, I like all kinds of music, but I don't care for rock very much. It makes me feel old. I guess country western is my favorite. I like the words of the songs. They may be corny, but I like them. Okay, let's imagine that this is an exam. So, in the number one, what is the correct answer? Traveling by plane or traveling by train? This is by train. Traveling by train. 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 train. <laughs> yeah, that's the correct one. So if you picked letter B, check. You have one correct answer. Very good job. In the number two, what would they rather? Living in an apartment or in a house? Living, living in, in an apartment. Apartment. An apartment. And why? Why uh, would they rather that one? Because the house is a lot of... Job. It's Joe inside the house, no? Yeah. Something. Definitely. So, in your own opinion, would you rather live in an apartment or in a house? In your own in opinion. My, in my opinion, it's a house. A house, okay. For me, because for children, a house. Yeah. If, if you're single, it's where an apartment. Definitely. Yeah. Very good, very good. Okay, number three. Uh, what would they rather? To speak British English or American English? American English. American English. American English. <laughs> okay, this one was a little bit confusing right because at the end of the sentence she mentioned something positive about british right so it was like 50 50 but american english right that's the yeah. ones that she would rather okay mm -hmm. the next one working in an office or working in a store uh-huh Working in a store. store. Are you sure? An office is what is boring, no? <laughs> ah, very good. So definitely work in a store. In your own opinion. Yes. Which, yeah. Which, which one do you prefer? It depends about everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I think that it depends on the salary, right? <laughs> Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, number five, learning Spanish or German. Yes, money, money. <laughs> okay, give me a second. Sorry, sorry. Learning Spanish. Learning Spanish. Learning Spanish. Internet go. <laughs> yeah, sorry, sorry. I have some issues with my internet connection. I'm sorry. Give me a second, please. Okay, can you hear me, everyone? Yes. Yes? Yeah. Okay, sorry. I think that my internet connection yes, was, was, wasn't working very well. Okay, so in the number five, learning. Spanish. 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 Very good. Yes, very Spanish. good. And the last one, country Stop. western music or country. rock music? Country, country western, western, country western, country music. western music. Country western music. Yeah. And country how about western. how about you guys? Would you rather listen uh, to country western music or rock music? Rock. 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 Rock.
Oh my goodness. Iron, Iron Maiden. <laughs> yeah, of, of course. <laughs> Black, Black, Black Sabbath. Black Sabbath. Ah, Black Sabbath. Uh -huh. <laughs> Ahí sí, rapidito se me emociona, right? Uh -huh. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> okay, imagine that this is an exam. How many correct answers did you have? Six, five, four, only one. Uh -huh. A plus. All three. <laughs> All right, okay. All of them. All of them. Nice job. Uh huh. And the rest of you? So, listen, I know that so for some of you, you think you can think, hey, this audio was really simple. Ah, very easy. Some others can think, oh my gosh, it was very difficult. I just got one correct answer or I don't know, right? Or two correct answers. I just want you to try, okay? I always want you to try. And if you feel, no teacher, for me, listening is difficult. That is the skill that you need to practice more. For some of you, you can feel listening very easy, right? But maybe speaking is the difficult one. So that is the <laughs> ones that you need to practice more. So now that we already practice uh, listening, we need to practice. What do you think? What is the skill that we need to practice right now? Speaking. Ah, that is the one. We need to practice. Speaking. Speaking. Speaking, of course. So again, I have here some questions. All right. You will have two options and you have to choose which one right important please in all these questions i want you to tell me why okay why would you rather that option for example look at the number one would you rather be poor <laughs> and happy <laughs> or rich but unhappy <laughs> so you had to tell me the full sentence because the idea is to practice the structure. So I want you to tell me, okay, I would rather be rich, for example, and unhappy. Okay, but why? And you had to explain, give me a reason. Why? Ah, teacher, because, <laughs> I don't know, right? I would rather cry <laughs> with a thousand million dollars. <laughs> okay, I don't know. That's an example. So you just need to tell me the reason why. Is it clear, everyone? Yes. Yes, so, yes teacher, don't yes. tell me, no se vale que solo me digan, ay, rich and unhappy. No, porque no estamos practicando la estructura. Quiero que me digan the full sentence. I would rather be rich and happy, or so on and so on. Okay? Please. Now, before going to the breaking rooms to practice this activity, I'm just going to check attendance again. So if you listen to your names, you know what to do. Carlos Abrego. Okay. Christian Alexander. Present. Okay. Erika Yasmin. Present. Okay. Oh, I, I listen, Carlos. Okay. Thank you. Um, Fatima, Denise. Present teacher. Thank you. Gabriel Beltran. All right, Hector Francisco. Present, teacher. Okay, Isabel Hernandez. Present, miss. Thank you, Ivan Guzman. Present. All right, Jamie Escobar. Present, teacher. Very good, Holman Giron. Present. Very good, uh, Lucy Natalie. Oh, it's listener, sorry, okay. Um, present, present teacher. It's okay, thank you, Lucy. Okay, Magdaleno Escalante. Present teacher. All right, Nelson Antonio. Present. Very good, Oscar Armando. <laughs> thank you, Pamela Carolina. 
Ok, Rosalina Alvarado. Es present teacher. Thank you. Selvin Adonai. And Mirna Elizabeth. Present. Excellent, very good. Okay, everyone, we are going to go to the breaking rooms to practice these questions. Remember, practice the full structure. And in this moment, zero Spanish, okay? Try to avoid Spanish as much as possible. If you are alone in the group or if nobody is talking to you, tell me so I will switch to another team. I send the questions on WhatsApp's group, okay? Let's go to practice. Hello, Ivan. Hello, brother. How are you? I'm fine, man. Okay. Okay, are you ready to practice? Yes. Go ahead. Okay. Number one. Would you rather be poor and happy or rich and unhappy? Mm, interesting questions. Uh, I think uh, I prefer uh, happiness. It's, in my, it's my more important for me uh, that uh, having money. Mm. Okay, the second, would you rather have more time or more money? Mm -hmm. I will, I would rather, uh, I would rather more time uh, to, to think about how to make money, in my opinion. Okay, it's okay, mate. Okay. Okay, the next is, would you rather work more hours per day, but fewer days, or work fewer hours per day, but more? Okay, in my case, I would rather to choose to be rich and unhappy because I prefer to, <laughs> to clean my tears with a hundred dollars. <laughs> That's my you prefer, case. You prefer clean your face with a expensive cream. <laughs> yes, to cry in a Ferrari. <laughs> I agree with you. <laughs> okay, the second one is: Would you rather have more time or more money? Ooh. Jamie, <laughs> the same answer. <laughs> More, <laughs> more money. <laughs> and Isabel, you more, prefer more to money be uh, more time. And more time, yeah, more time. <laughs> yes. Yes, because if you answer more money, mm. <laughs> mm, <laughs> more money. Okay. <laughs> the the third one says, "Would you rather work more hours per day, but fewer days, or work fewer hours per day, but?" More days. I going to. I going to read. Hours per day. Would you rather work more hours per day? But fewer days is like a work a lot of hours in a day, but just a couple of days. Just just a couple of days. Or work a few fewer hours or just uh some hours no one. <laughs> but more days no one. <laughs> so for example sorry to interrupt you imagine <laughs> would you rather work for example 
10 hours from Monday to Friday, but you will have two days off. Or would you rather work six hours, but you will have only one day off? That is similar, the, the, but that's the meaning of the question. So would you rather work more hours, but you will have more days off? Or just the opposite? Uh-huh. I rather <laughs> have more hours per day. So you want <laughs> more day off? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if I'm rich, <laughs> uh, you don't even need to work. <laughs> you can work a, a day very hard, and then you can get it. <laughs> oh. Get a vacation. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Mr. Hernandez, what do you think? Um, finally, is almost the same. Really? Basically. <laughs> but no, what no would you problem. rather? Hmm? More hours per day. More hours per day. All right. Yeah. So I think that all of you have the same answer in that one. Interesting. <laughs> Very good job. Okay, continue, please. The next one, would you rather make a phone call? Understanding. Yeah, the, the situation is that I work with people at my church who have a bigger, bigger lands. Yeah, yeah, maybe, yeah. But it is not as happy. Two, three acres of, uh -huh. of land. And they said to me, I am poor pastor. He said, yeah. really, wow. I said, <laughs> wow, what happened with you, man? You have a big land. Yeah. With this land, I, I would have a, a lot of money. Yes. But in another <laughs> hand, maybe uh, another, another people don't have any. But it's happy because yeah, the, this is right. the happiness is about family, healthy, and uh, another another um, in, intangible. I don't know what is that the word, but untouchable. Untouchable thing. You feel you mm -hmm. feel nice. Did you have a? a <laughs> I think an example when they, <laughs> when my son say, "Mom, I want to eat pizza." Yes, Caesar, because I have only ten dollars. But it's pizza, no. And the other guy, yeah. no. You need to go at the the best pizza. Best if they don't have money for that, feel sad. You know? Do you understand hmm. me? Yeah, I understand that. I just yeah, remember yeah. the Bible that I am a pastor, you know. And yes, I remember I, I remember Paul said. The happiness not depend of the the outside the things depend what you have in your holy in spirit your, yeah. inside the inside the you. soul inside the yes. soul yeah mm -hmm. yeah that is yes, important it's nice, it's nice. Uh, okay, okay the next sorry the to next interrupt brother. you okay Hi. you mentioned Hi. you mentioned the word intangible so you can say in material that's like the uh, okay. translation thank you in material mm -hmm. yeah. all you can say intangible intangible both are excuse correct. me intangible I'm, I'm sending in the chat right now okay because that it's is... new word for me uh -huh. so both are the same meaning. I'm yes. sending it right now. Ah, intangible. Mm -hmm. Or immaterial. Mm -hmm. Immaterial. Oh. Ah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Okay, I will take I will take notes. Nice. Yeah, because it's new words for us. Intangible. Uh-huh. And in immaterial. Material. Oh my goodness. No. Not understand this question. Would you rather work you rather more, work hours, more per hours per day? But fever days, I think that that fever days is a takeoff day. Or, for example, uh, if you work Monday to 
to Tuesday and you have take off um, uh -huh. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, maybe, because you work mm -hmm. a lot of, uh, or, or you work more hours to replace that Friday, for example, or mm -hmm. maybe, maybe something like that. I understand this, but I'm not sure. <laughs> no, actually, how, that is- how long? That is the correct one. For example, uh, you can work only four days, but you have to work like 12 hours, but you will have three days off. Or you can work six days, but only like six, seven hours, and you will have only one day off. So what would you rather? More days off, but more hours, or only one day off, but less hours. What do you think? In my case, in my in my case, I would I would rather work. Uh, I would rather uh, work fewer hours per day, but more days because I have two kids. It's my, it's my, yeah, it's in my in my case, yeah, because I have two kids and I need to take up the 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 school or or mm. probably in, in the in the daycare and i need to more hours per day <laughs> definitely yeah. or that's a good point yeah. very good very good uh-huh boys how about you and my first question my answer uh, uh, was uh, i prefer uh, being rich and happy and this question i know need work <laughs> <laughs> you prefer <laughs> okay. you would rather <laughs> not work you, you no, don't no, need no. to work <laughs> and exactly. i need work yeah i prefer work more hours i would day. rather i would rather uh -huh. i would rather work many uh, many uh, many hours per day because uh, uh, I have a long day for NJ, um, different, different situation, teacher. Mm -hmm. um, okay. I, I, can, I can go to the mountain today and I have one day for me, uh, my, my, uh, my market. Buy your, your buy out? Buy out, uh huh. I prefer, I prefer a uh, work many, many hours. I work, day. No, I would prefer. I would rather. I would rather. That is the one, that is the one. Okay, and Holman, how about you? Uh, <clears throat> well, I would rather uh, have uh, what work uh, more hours and have more day off. Mm, okay, so very nice answers. Okay, everyone, continue, please. Okay, thank you. Okay, the next question is: Would you rather make a phone call or send a text? Mm. It's difficult. <laughs> Okay, for me, I would rather uh, make a phone call because it's more it's more personal to, or is is more um, close to the person or to the it's more close the the when you call uh, someone. Yes or. Because the text is just to send the text, it, that's it. It's, it's not, um, you don't have the contact, the contact for, for the phone with the, with the person. It's a the person, but I prefer call my friends or my, my mom, my father, or I don't know. I prefer calling you, Hector. If, if I want, I want to uh, talk with my family, I prefer uh, no. I I, I would I rather. <laughs> sorry, I, I would rather uh, send a, a text because uh, because Jose, 
¿Cómo se dice en video, teacher? Sorry. Video. En, en video, envidiar, en video. Ah. Oh, envidiar. Uh -huh. Oh, envy. Envy, uh -huh, envy the, the people write like a, uh, um, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, the poet, poet people, people. And I, uh, I, I would rather send a text with a, a lot good word world i don't know i lost okay. i lost i lost that, that idea in my in my mind my mind <laughs> but you are trying hector you are trying that's the idea you are doing great <laughs> and hold on tell us how about you what would you rather i would rather call on a friend or uh and my brother or mother, I prefer my my friends or family. It's more uh, safe. Yes, it's, it's safe safer. Hmm. And if it is okay, you are talking about you. You would rather call your family, but how about if it is about work? Would you rather call your boss, your coworkers, or send a text no i send the text is a is another scenario that is not my close uh, people or my my family or my is it if if if, if it is my family i prefer call but ah. in the in the in the other people no in the other people you can text. Say, yeah text is easy in is a common now. Is is use uh, you you use the 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 WhatsApp or the WhatsApp group in the in, in your in your in your job or in your team or like like this in in our class. Yeah, it's easy and it's more usually hmm. to to use the text. Okay, very good, very good. But but we 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 can uh, put the soul. In, in each world and, and maybe express with a beautiful world a uh, uh, un sentimiento como se llama? Uh, feeling I feel in, I feel and the people can read again and again and again if, if the if the context is is beautiful maybe for my my, my child say hey you are a nice person uh, the, the she she can read and it any time, hey, I am a good person, I am a fine person. I That's think good. for my family, I prefer send a, a text. Sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> I think I, rather. I, I would rather. <laughs> I would rather. <laughs> and don't in forget that you need you can send emojis too, right? <laughs> in, ah, my yeah. <laughs> uh -huh, Mirna? in my opinion, teacher, this question is very tricky or uh, confusing confusing because it depends the context and all of them if you see it depends the context because i would like to 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 take a lot of money <laughs> yeah but i don't like unhappy or or yeah exactly it's the yeah, and it's the yes that's why i like these questions because the idea is not only to, uh, to say ah yes i would rather this I need you to explain why. That is the idea for these tricky questions because I yeah. want you to explain why, okay? Yeah. But, okay, everyone, we don't have more time. We need to go back to the main room, okay? Let's go back. Thank you, teacher. You're Thank welcome. You. Thank you, everyone. Okay, time's up. We are going to go back. Let's wait for the rest of your classmates. They are still in the breaking rooms. Let's go back, everyone. All right, all right. A very interesting answers. I was listening. Okay, everyone, how was the practice? Easy or difficult? Easy, but easy. <laughs> ah, very good. Uh -huh, and tricky. the rest of you? Tricky, tricky. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> so I know that some of the questions were like a little bit confusing. Some of you say, well, depends, right? So that was the idea. Remember, I don't want you just say, ah, yes, I would rather be happy. No, I want you to explain why. So tell me, did you feel that giving reasons was easy or a little bit complicated? Mm -hmm. When you explain the reason, when you explain why would you rather that option, was it easy or difficult? It's difficult. Difficult. Pretty difficult, teacher. <laughs> difficult, okay. Why? You didn't find the vocabulary or mm -hmm. you lost the idea or what happens? You got nervous. Mm -hmm. What happened? In my case, it's a, it's a search of uh, the words. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. I think it's my problems. Okay, okay. So, Antonio, what do you say? I think because we have advantage and disadvantage with the sentence. <laughs> okay, all right. Anyone else? Teacher, my parents have a lot, a lot of work for express each idea. In my case, the, 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 I have a more traffic in my, in my mind for, <laughs> for say, uh, when, when, when uh, past my, my brain have a, a, a lot problem with my tongue. <laughs> oh my God. So your brain and your tongue, they are not connected. No, no, <laughs> not connected. No. My, my brain is in Spanish and my tongue is in English. <laughs> yeah. All right. No connected. Yeah. You know, that reminds me a meme uh, I'm going to share with you. I don't know if you feel identified with this. So my English in my mind and the English when I speak. Okay, but listen everyone, you are trying, okay? I know sometimes it's difficult to organize our ideas. Sometimes it's difficult to find the words. In some groups, I was listening like Spanglish, okay? But listen, um, don't give up. You will continue. We will improve. We will continue practicing, but you are trying, okay? Mm, some recommendations that I can give you the more you practice, the more you will get it. I send the questions on WhatsApp group. Recommendation. Look, esto hacía yo cuando estaba estudiando y me funcionó. All right. Yo tomaba las preguntas y me grababa. Yo me grababa respondiendo la pregunta. Y luego escuchaba mi respuesta. Cuando yo escuchaba mi respuesta, yo creo que a nadie aquí nos gusta escuchar nuestra propia voz, right? Pero cuando yo escuchaba mi respuesta, ahí es donde yo me daba cuenta de los errores que tal vez estaba cometiendo, de cómo estaba organizando mis ideas. Entonces, cuando yo escuchaba mi propio audio, ¿qué hacía después? Volví a responder la pregunta y me volví a grabar tratando de evitar cometer esos mismos errores. Ya el segundo audio ya sonaba un poquito más interesante, right? La tercera vez que lo grababa, wow, was much better. So that is something that I highly recommend you if you feel that speaking is difficult for you, okay? Try to do it. Practice the questions that I sent on WhatsApp's group. Tomorrow, I can interview you. So practice, please. Now, before leaving, solo Hector Francisco se queda. <laughs> the rest of you, have a good night. Work on the platform. Bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you. Thank See you. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good, good night. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. Goodbye. Only Hector se queda, please. The rest of you. Yes, See you tomorrow. Stay. Castigado, Hector. <laughs>
with the with the oreja de burro. Eh, ear. <laughs> The, the donkey ears. <laughs> no, no worries. Okay, Hector, uh, this meeting is just to clarify some questions that you may have, not only about the class, but maybe about the platform or about the program. So this is your moment. Any questions that you may have? I will explain you. So tell me. Okay, uh, with, with the platform teacher, mm -hmm. uh, Every every day I need I need every day fill the or answer the question the the homework or is is every uh, uh, Friday mm. I don't I don't understand it. Okay, the idea is that you work on the platform every day. Okay, uh -huh. so um, for example, uh, let me show you. Do, 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 do. Okay, this is the platform. Okay, so la sección uno tiene diferentes ejercicios, right? Look, tiene mm -hmm. diferentes ejercicios. So, para que no se le acumulen, my recommendation is cada día vamos haciendo el ejercicio porque, ah, no carga, porque cada día vamos resolviendo el ejercicio según el tema que vimos. Por ejemplo, la tarea del lunes fue exactamente el tema que vimos. Uh -huh. La tarea del martes va a ser sobre lo que vimos el martes. El miércoles, por ejemplo, hoy les va a aparecer una tarea de lo que vimos hoy. All right? Uh -huh. So, uh -huh. mañana, right? van a ser la tarea de lo que vamos a ver mañana. Entonces, lo ideal es que la trabajen cada día. ¿Por qué? Porque yo voy a enviar notas. La tarea de la semana 1 tiene que estar lista antes del viernes a la medianoche, porque a esa hora se actualiza el sistema, se envían notas, y si usted no me ha trabajado en toda la semana, ¿qué significa? Que el viernes va a estar saturado con todos los ejercicios. All right, so mm -hmm. I recommend you to work every single day. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Because uh, maybe I don't have I don't have time, and maybe uh, forget forgot the the <laughs> the make uh, fill fill the the homework, mm -hmm. and maybe no maybe and how uh se me acumula um. You have a lot of a lot of things to do. Uh huh. Yeah. And maybe in in another case, uh, feel the 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 question Saturday or or or, or Sunday. And y si y si ocurre eso, mi nota es 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 menos. Ah, me me imagino. Okay. Look. Um. En este caso es bien difícil para mí porque a mí me piden que yo actualice notas el viernes, right? So yo el viernes al terminar la clase reviso la plataforma, reviso cómo van sus notas y las actualizo. En el caso de los que no la trabajan entre semana porque yo sé, you are busy, you have to work, you have many things to do, um, you can work on the weekends, right? You can do it and I will try, voy a tratar la manera de actualizar sus notas el día lunes a primera hora, para que no haya como que mucho problema. Mm -hmm. The point here is, eh, si va a trabajar el fin de semana, sí, tiene que ser el fin de semana, porque si no, empezamos la semana 2 y no va a haber terminado la semana 1. Entonces, ahí sí, tengamos mm -hmm. bastante cuidado con eso. All right? Okay, okay. Very good. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. I got you. Great. Okay, so I don't know if you have any other question. No, uh, uh, and no, no. I, 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 I'm very happy with with the with the class. Is this is very um, dynamic? Dynamic. Very, dynamic. Uh huh. I don't know. It's 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 dynamic. If if more, um, I, we we have have the the opportunity to participate a lot. In, in maybe because it's a middle middle uh, intermediate in, intermediate in English, interme intermediate English it's mm -hmm. necessary talk more 
and and write more and i'm i'm happy with with the dynamic class teacher thank you thank you so much oh my pleasure uh, it's actually que, que yeah that's es, the idea uh -huh. yo sé que es un, un esfuerzo suyo y, y lo hace lo hace muy dinámico y yo estoy contento con eso Ah, gracias. that's great. I'm happy gracias, too. Gracias. And yeah, that's the idea. I really try to do a dynamic class so everybody can participate because I know mm -hmm. that you are tired. Imagine if I'm boring. <laughs> I mean, you will be sleeping, right? So I don't want mm -hmm. that. <laughs> so yeah, but mm -hmm. you are doing a great job. Me gusta que lo está intentando. Siempre participa, Héctor. Lo, lo he escuchado en los grupos ahí participando. I know that it's difficult to organize the ideas. I know the vocabulary. I know. So, but mm -hmm. you are trying. Así que recommendations. Every single new word, escribámosla en el notebook. Mm -hmm. Okay, and okay. practice. Okay, because okay, entre okay. más vocabulary we have, more will we talk. Okay. Okay. Okay, teacher. Nice. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You. I don't know if you have any other question or any other comment. No, teacher. No, have a, a, a more more question. My commentary is is Gracias. Okay. Very Thank good. You. You're very welcome. Okay, Hector, we are going to stop right here. Thank you so much for staying and see you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Have a good okay. night. Thank you. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.